Hi, this is a response to Julie Steele's video of me misunderstanding a amusement performers. I will not take down my videos and I thank you for your off the wall promotion of my business through a very professional monotone video. I have never stated a lie. I have sometimes contradicted myself. Yes, I have said if you don't like somebody, go ahead and block them or remove them. I never do that as a personal effort to better myself by learning what other people think. Yes, there are some troublemakers out there and I myself may be one. But I have not stated any lies. What I have posted in my videos was truth at the time and therefore is relevant to that time. Nothing can be disputed with what I have said because I have actually stated it with documentation of proof and in that in a court of law which I may be sued in at some point. I can prove other than that I have not stolen any images because I do not make a profit off of any images that I use in any of my videos or blogs. In fact, the photos and videos I use do not make money whatsoever and only reflect me and my business and nobody else's. If it does reflect another person's business, it is because they are doing wrong and I happen to be there and catch them in a public forum which is legal. It is not in a private business where I cannot take videotape. As far as videotaping classes at Fabiac, yes I did sign a contract saying that I would not videotape and distribute. Therefore any video that may have been taken was not used in whole but in part as reference to what I do in my blogs and they do not make any money whatsoever. Also photos that I have taken at Fabiac were to be used at my discretion with my camera like everybody else. If I have videotaped anything from Fabiac I have written or verbal confirmation from the people in that class to be used for personal use and not to be distributed whatsoever. And I have proof. But I don't have to show it in testimony. My work speaks for itself and therefore I don't have to go out and use other people's photos as reference on my website unless it is in my blog to showcase another and to list them on a website that they can get to. I have not stolen anything from anybody and any photos that I use are free to be used because it is from a public forum where everybody sees them in the first place. And when I use a photo or use somebody's image, likeness, or their business, I always list them and post a link to their website so others can see and see for themselves. So when I posted A Amusements YouTube link, that was so everybody else can check and see and know that they may or may not have done wrong in anybody's eyes. I even posted their website which had broken links and links that led to nowhere and unless you have your own server base 
If your computer goes down, it does not affect the internet, and therefore, it has no relevance to the part about the broken links. Unless, and I am sorry, that server base was destroyed in Katrina, and you lost all other information except for that one page that has broken links. Now on to my rebuttal, or what I have to say about this. I have done nothing wrong, and I will not recant. Yes, I stick my nose in other people's business, but when you use racial slurs on people, such as calling a Singapore girl a chink, even though she is actually American, and you never researched that in the first place, or to use someone such as a lawyer named Larissa who has made comments but did not directly attack you but actually gave information that we could use is very unprofessional and can get you in trouble with the law. There is so much more I can say and I will go into the fact of I may not have a lot of video testimonies. I do not need a lot of video testimonies. I have business. I get business. I have been doing face painting as a main job for over a year now and have not needed to have another job, nor have I had to contract out anybody else to get money from other people for something that I cannot do myself. Yes. All I do is one thing, face painting. But does that include henna tattoos, glitter tattoos, hair extensions, murals, window paintings, rock paintings, arts and crafts of any sort, working as the youth coordinator for the Virginia Highlands Festival, working several paid festivals that are in the top 100 in the nation, do I have to list all of my achievements to make myself look grand, such as you do, a amusement performers, Lakari and Julie Steele? I have been on TV several times for interviews. I don't like TV as much as other people do. I don't need my 15 minutes of fame on TV. I do YouTube videos for your entertainment and my entertainment and to let people know about what I do in my face painting world and what kind of events are out there that they may want to frequent in the future. Some events are really slow. Some events are really bad. The economy dictates how bad a festival may be. And because of how bad a festival may be, I may not have a very good time. As a face painter, we all know that competition is going to be there. But when you have a church who is doing face painting for free, just maybe more than 200 feet away from you while you have paid for a booth at a festival because this is your livelihood and you're trying to make it, a complaint is valid. I'm sorry. All of my complaints are legitimate. And yes, I may contradict myself by saying that you have blocked me from Facebook and YouTube because you do not like me. Well, I do not like you and your unprofessionalism. Thank you very much. But I do not block anybody because I have nothing to hide. And if I had something to hide, I would quite possibly block and keep people from making comments that others may see and may learn about that may be detrimental to my company. My YouTube account is for Katmandu FBA 365 blog. I used to do a daily blog. 
I tried to make them interesting so yes I could get the views and maybe somewhere down the line a partnership so that it can be a supplemental income for the business I do because I do travel a lot and go to many festivals around the nation but one thing I do not need is a party entertainment planner down in Louisiana getting me business for Southwest Virginia or Northeast United States. There are several party planners up here that I can go to that have working websites, are legitimate, and have contacted me several times for events that unfortunately I was double booked for. You can check on this. I am listed. Thank you. As far as doing as much as you do, if I wanted to stress myself out by looking for everything for everybody else so that I can charge them whatever so that they can have everything all from one site, I would become an entertainment planner or event planner and I would go under the name Catman Do Face and Body Art Entertainment Services or um, Entertainment Services of Catman Do Face and Body Art. But I do not do that. I pride myself on what I do and the quality of my work. And I don't have to go and get um, other stuff that really doesn't pertain to me that much. But I have friends that do do different things like DJ, clowning, balloons, magic, and all kinds of other things like Euro Bungee, rock wall, inflatables. And I have them in my contacts where I can use them for different events and we all work it out because we are friends and we can give them the best deal possible. So, thank you. There is so much to say. I'm sorry I don't have the te Oh, I already said that. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I guess that's what I'm going to apologize for. But not to Lakari or Julie Steele. If you are a professional business and you do not like slander, or if this is just between me and Lakari, but you are directly tied into the business that your husband is in, and you say that you don't have anything to do with this, you are wrong. Because any statement that he makes on behalf of amusement entertainment falls on your shoulders too. And therefore you are at fault just as much as he is. Thank you. So please, do not call Catman Do Face and Body Art. I am a liar. I will deface you. I will put your business in the ground any way possible. It is my, my joy in life to make your life miserable when you do something wrong. I guess I just care about the welfare of the kids that I may have as business later on and do not want to see them hurt by anything whatsoever. So when I go into costume or a look-alike that is almost a 100% looking just like another person or another likeness of like Barney or Baby Bop who look exactly the same as the original, yes you may be able to change it by 36% with a zipper in the back instead of Velcro. But still, that does not mean that you can use their voice likeness in copyrighted music or lyrics. I know Disney and I know Lions Productions feels the same way about this and they were contacted about doing that. And I have seen lookalikes that use their own material and their own voice changers to simulate what's there, but don't actually use what is actually somebody else's work. I have plenty of friends on Facebook. Most of them do not talk to me. But just after all these videos have come up, I guess people have looked me up and I have had more subscribers on Facebook and or friends on Facebook and subscribers on YouTube. So thank you very much for that.
And as they say in the world, no promotion is bad promotion. Any promotion is good promotion. Because of you, I will have people looking me up day and night to try to figure out what you say I am doing wrong. And therefore, they are going to be able to view my videos, go to my website, visit my blog, visit my Facebook, my MySpace, and everything else. And I will get the numbers that I am trying to reach inadvertently because of you. Please do not take down your videos because I am not going to take down mine. And the more you leave your videos up, the better I am going to look in the future. Thank you very much. And I think that is it. If I have any more to say, I will post it in another video blog on another day. Until tomorrow, happy painting!